Today we're going to continue our series of answering purchasing questions that we feel have wider applicability, by this time looking at travel systems, or rather, expanded travel systems, since we'll be talking not just about a single stroller plus a car seat, but also throwing in an ultra-compact. And the viewer then expressed, in this case via a conversation on our Patreon page, that they live in an apartment with limited storage space, in an urban environment with rougher streets, take regular longer trips by car, but otherwise tend to get around by foot in their neighborhood, fly multiple times a year, and lastly, that getting value for cash is also a key factor. And they're wondering then, which of the following sets of gear might best fit their lifestyle? The Boogaboo Fox 3 plus the Turtle Air plus the Butterfly, the Upa Baby Cruise V2 plus the Mesa plus the Minu or Minu V2, or the Nuna Mix Next plus the People Light plus the TRVL. And today then, we're going to go over each of these expanded travel systems, from the most expensive to the least, weighing them against each other in relation to this specific set of circumstances. And then, at the end, I'm going to mix it up a bit combining gear from all three brands to create what I think would be the most optimal travel system. Before I get started though, I'd like to first note that our specialty is strollers, not car seats. And while I'll deal a bit with weight, cost, and compatibility, a little extra research to compare factors like safety rating may be in order. In addition, as I've been saying throughout this series, if after watching this video you'd like to see more content of its sort, feel free to leave a comment detailing the specific models you're interested in for a specific set of life factors. And starting off with the Boogaboo stuff then, a quick cost evaluation shows this travel system as clocking in at around $2,200 to $2,300. Bucks. When it comes to using the Fox as your primary stroller in these conditions, the model is overkill in terms of terrain capability for just dealing with broken sidewalks and rougher urban conditions, though this is nice anyway as it just means more shock absorption. The shopping basket, a key factor for daily use in an urban environment for hauling groceries and day trip gear, is sufficiently sized but not the best of the larger models of this video, while in terms of storage at home, the Fox is also the largest of three unless you disassemble it. Looking at travel, the Butterfly folds down to within cabin luggage guidelines as set by the IATA, making it the strongest of the three ultra compacts here for air travel. While for those longer car trips, the Turtle Air is among the lightest of the car seats here, and is quite easy to mount on the Butterfly with the adapters pre-installed. The Butterfly itself has a bit less terrain capability than the TRVL or Minu, but is quite sturdy, and has arguably the best seat dimensions, both in terms of the length of its seat back and leg rest. And all in all then, I would say that the primary advantage of choosing this Boogaboo travel system versus the other two is that you get an abundance of gear with purchase that will maximize comfort from birth through the end of your stroller days, including a bassinet for the Fox 3 and that larger than average seat on the Butterfly. While the chief negative is the cost, where there may be a bit more functional value for money to be had for this specific set of life factors with some of the other choices. Next up in terms of total cost are the Nuna products, which I estimate as roughly between seventeen and eighteen hundred bucks if you plan to just use the inbuilt infant configuration on the mix next for the newborn period that is, while the price is more around two grand if you want a bassinet. The mix next also has decent terrain capability for handling rougher streets, a more or less equivalently sized though arguably a tad more accessible shopping basket, and also takes up slightly less space when folded down as a single piece. When it comes to travel, the TRVL is unfortunately not cabin luggage acceptable for most airlines, but does pair nicely with the PIPA for car travel, where the TRVL's easy autofold and the ability to mount the PIPA, which is also quite light like the Turtle, without adapters, makes for the easiest setup for getting in and out of the car of all these systems. Now, that being said, Looking at both the Mix Next and the TRVL beyond these lifestyle factors, I must unfortunately say that for mechanical and or performance reasons, neither is a model that I actually recommend buying. Due to the Mix Next having problematic seat dimensions for really comfortably seating a lot of children past two to two and a half years old, as well as a very malleable flexing chassis design that makes it unpleasant to drive in my opinion and the TRVL having potentially serious longevity issues stemming from its complex and somewhat weak construction. I won't explain more about these concerns here, but if you're interested, I recommend watching our full reviews for these models, and links have been added in the description. 
And last up then, and coming in cheapest, at between 15 and 1600 bucks with the infant snug seat, or an extra 200 if you want a new bassinet, is the Upper Baby System, where the Cruise V2 is the best of all three primary strollers for these conditions in my opinion, being similarly capable of tackling rougher streets, having the largest and most accessible shopping basket of the three, while also folding down the smallest of the three. For travel, like the TRVL, the Minu isn't small enough to pass as cabin luggage, but it is the sturdiest of the three ultra compacts and can tackle rougher urban conditions without sustaining a lot of wear. It's also, however, a bit on the heavy side, as is the Mesa car seat, 4.7 kilos versus around 3 for the Turtle Air and People Light, and overall then, the Minu and Mesa combination will be a bit heavier to handle than the other two systems when looking at travel. That being said, I would argue that from a longevity perspective, the Upper Baby kit is the sturdiest of the three, and also that by going with a cheaper newborn option for the Cruise V2, either the Snug Seat or a second-hand bassinet, 2015 or newer, and possibly also choosing the original Minu over the Minu V2, the cost can be made even lower than it already is, versus the other two systems. Alright, before concluding the video, I'd like to mix up this gear a bit to make the most optimal travel system, as in my opinion, that little bit of saving that you get from buying either the larger or ultra compact stroller as a bundle with a car seat isn't worth either of the strollers not being the best choice for a specific set of life factors. And what I'd prefer to go for then would be the Upper Baby Cruise V2 with either a used Upper Baby bassinet or the infant snug seat, and the Boogaboo Butterfly with the Peepa Light chosen purely for compatibility reasons. A variation on this to save cash could also be to go for a secondhand Baby Zen Yo-Yo Plus or Yo-Yo 2 instead, which would then maximize the air travel aspect of these life needs since it's a bit more convenient to carry when folded. But either way, I think that mishmashing brands like this fine-tunes this specific set of life needs better than sticking purely to a single manufacturer. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, or even hit the donate button if you're so inclined, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about any of these models, we have standalone reviews for all of them that go into a lot more detail, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.